Here we're being asked to evaluate a linear expression. What's a, a linear expression? Well, it's something like this. They call it an expression rather than an equation because it doesn't have an equal sign. So you might think of this as part of an equation. It just doesn't have the equals whatever number. And we've got two variables here, the b and the a. And then we've got this 4 hanging out here and a negative sign. This is an expression, an algebraic expression. So to evaluate it, we have to take the values they're giving us for a and b and substitute them in for a and b. And the way you should think about doing this is just take the number inside parentheses and replace that, re replace the letters with that. So I'm going to take parentheses 2 and put it in for b. So I would rewrite this as 4 parentheses 2. And I have my minus sign. And then instead of a, it's parentheses negative 3. If you keep the parentheses, you won't get confused about signs or how to multiply. Now we just need to resolve this. And of course, we'll use the order of operations. We need to do our multiplication and division first. Looks like there's just one piece of multiplication to do here. 4 times 2 is 8. So this is 8 minus and minus a negative 3. That's the same thing as plus. When you have two negative signs in a row, you can turn them into a plus. So 8 plus 3 equals 11. And that is how to evaluate a linear expression.